Windows XP mode is a way to run older programs designed for Windows XP in certain editions of Windows 7. Hi, I'm Andy Sweet, a writer on the Windows team, but before we get into Windows XP mode, if you're having trouble installing or running an older program, you can first try the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. It's in every edition of Windows 7. Just right-click the program's icon and click Troubleshoot Compatibility, or click Properties and change the settings manually. But if that doesn't help the problem, then I'll show you in the next five minutes how you can use Windows XP mode to get the program up and running in Windows 7. Windows XP mode works in two ways. First, it's a complete version of Windows XP that runs in a window, almost if it were a program itself. Inside the window, you can do most of the things you'd normally do in Windows, run programs, save files, and connect to devices and networks. And second, after you install a program in Windows XP mode, it's listed in two places, here in the Windows XP list of programs and over here in the Windows 7 list of programs. Some things to know beforehand. Windows XP mode wasn't really made for graphic-intensive programs like 3D games or for programs with special hardware like TV tuners. Plus, you need to have Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise, or Ultimate Edition, and your computer needs a central processing unit, or CPU, that supports hardware virtualization. Before you begin, visit the website on your screen to check if your CPU is compatible. Setting up Windows XP mode is a two-step process. First, you'll need to download and install Windows Virtual PC, which is the program that runs virtual operating systems on your computer. Then, you can download and install Windows XP Mode itself, which is a fully licensed version of Windows XP with Service Pack 3. I've already confirmed that my PC can run Windows XP Mode, so to get started, let's go online to the Windows Virtual PC and Windows XP Mode website. On the download page, I'll choose my Windows 7 system type, Windows XP Mode language, and then click this button to download Windows Virtual PC. I'll next need to confirm I want to install and accept the license terms. After installation is complete, I'll need to restart my computer. Now that I've restarted, you can see Windows Virtual PC here in my list of programs. Windows XP mode is also listed now, but I haven't installed it just yet. When I click it, I'm asked if I want to download Windows XP mode, which takes me back to the web page I was on earlier. Some more questions, and then I'll click here to download Windows XP mode itself. It's a big file, so I recommend clicking Save and saving it to your computer in case you ever need to reinstall Windows XP mode. After it's downloaded to my computer, I'll open the file. A wizard now guides me through the setup process. First, setting up the virtual hard disk that Windows XP mode will use. Then, I'll accept the license terms, confirm where Windows XP mode will store files, and then enter a password. Be sure to keep this box selected unless you want to enter the password every time you start Windows XP mode. Here, you can choose whether to use automatic updates to help protect Windows XP. That sounds good to me. And then, after a few minutes of final setup tasks, welcome to Windows XP mode. Now that Windows XP mode is up and running, let's install an older program. I'll put the program's installation disk into my DVD drive. And then, in Windows XP mode, I'll browse to the disk, double-click the setup file, and then install the program. Now, you can run the program in Windows XP mode, but it'll probably be more convenient to run it just like you run all of your other programs right in Windows 7. You'll need to close Windows XP mode first before you open any Windows XP mode programs in Windows 7. Then, click the Windows 7 Start button, browse to Windows XP mode applications, and then open the program. It'll run like any other program in Windows 7, with just a couple of minor differences. It won't have transparent borders, and it'll have a Windows Virtual PC button on the taskbar instead of its own button. But other than that, you can run it just like any other program installed in Windows 7. 
So if there's an older program from Windows XP that you can't live without, but you can't get it installed correctly in Windows 7, try Windows XP mode and enjoy the best of both worlds.